straw birds. Thought it'd be fun today to uh, take a little break and practice a little cartooning. So grab your pencil and your paper and start thinking about how to draw a bird. Okay, for your assignment, draw five birds from five different viewpoints. Try to draw using just one line the best that you can. This will free you up uh, so you don't try to get too realistic in your drawings. Once you're finished, then grab your uh, marker and you want to make sure it's one that won't smear because we will be painting and uh, go ahead and outline uh, the eyes, maybe make them a little human looking and then outline your birds. And you can note on the, the video that you're seeing that I'm correcting or maybe uh, correcting the shapes just a little bit and you can do that in this process. Then uh, take your eraser and erase out all your lines. Next, you can add paint or marker, crayon. It's always uh, a good time uh, to practice painting. And uh, in my classroom, I know that we practice or uh, use colored pencils a lot and um, markers and things like that. And we don't get to paint quite as much. So any chance you get a, a time to use that brush, that's, that's a good thing. Okay, so let's try this. So you want to just grab some paint and then uh, think about the, a bird and uh, just paint the silhouette of that bird. Of the bird. So go for three bird silhouettes. And again, I didn't look up any resources. I'm just trying to think in my head what a, a bird might be doing or thinking about. And uh, as you learn to cartoon, you just keep on thinking of new ideas all the time. After the paint dries, go back in with your marker and add human details, uh, such as a bow tie or uh, you could put tennis shoes on your bird, etc. etc. So have fun cartooning and bringing personality. Uh, to your drawing.